For this final breakdown, we'll take a look at Trey Lyles as a small ball five on the defensive end and whether the pros on the offensive end can outweigh some of the negatives and issues that may come up. First, let's start with a positive. One, he's willing to be aggressive. And whether fans like it or not, that's how the Pistons are playing. And especially against second unit fives, he's able to get up in these guys on the perimeter and he's going to run through passing lanes like we see here against the Magic and Mo Bamba. I realize Mo Bamba started every game for the Magic this season and has played decent, but I'm still kind of using him as a decent example for the type of guys that Lyles would be playing against. So here, this isn't the perfect example, right? Nikola Vucevic is obviously a starting five man, but you're going to see the issues with him playing in the post and he's just not able to hold up. First, Kade had to help, which probably gives Levine a shot. Vooch reposts, and you can just see Lyles not able to hold up in this situation. Even as Vooch misses, he just knocks him off, and Lyles isn't there for the defensive rebound. This is the one that really shows it. So even here against Mo Bamba, okay, this, the double team is going to come. So Saban Lee, the Pistons feel like they have to come give help with Lyles in this situation. And I know there's some guys you have to do that against, but you would want to feel like you don't have to do that against Mo Bamba as it creates a rotation and ends up a wide open three for the magic even though they don't knock it down and then the other thing the the one thing I think people would love to think if you're playing small is that you can be very switchable with Lyles I don't know that that's necessarily the case here he switches out on Terrence Ross and Terrence Ross is able to attack which again forces help from Saban Lee and then rotations on the weak side of it which ends up in a pretty good look from the magic even though they miss I do love that Lyles stayed in there and grabbed that defensive rebound as I highlighted earlier the next thing is he's just not going to provide much in terms of rim protection. Now, he may come over every once in a while from the weak side and get you one, but here you see in transition, one, he recognizes it late, and then he's just not really able to contest whatsoever. And then on this one, as Cole Anthony drives, he does recognize it, but you see just have the length and athleticism to go and get a block there and really contest. So you're going to lose that as well with him on the floor as a small ball five. And then also, I just think he loses focus at times. So here, this is a really weird play. As I On the weak side here, he just loses focus, doesn't see the ball, and then they skip past to his man who knocks down a three as he's not really engaged on the weak side. And then in transition, it feels like every once in a while, he just has a, like a head-scratching play. So Chicago in transition, he just reaches out and touches, gives away the give foul, but he doesn't keep the offensive player, Desomo, from getting the layup in the and one. So it's just really interesting with that. And so I do think it will be interesting to watch whether the negatives on the defensive end end up outweighing the pros on the offensive end.